if you can figure it out at such a young age, such as infancy, one, two years old, then you can prevent a long life of therapy that they didn't need, potentially. I'd like to be an occupational therapist and work with children, I hope. Um, somehow integrate nutrition in there. With occupational therapy, you can, you can perform therapy on any age group. I mean, they start at infancy. And the way that they do it is, you know, whatever is supposed to be the norm for that age, they'll work to achieve that. Occupational therapy is about increasing someone's occupational performance, their everyday tasks. So if we can look at their nutrition, I mean, maybe someone's occupational performance is below what they should be based on their nutrition. Okay, the kid thing, because I feel like nutrition in someone's health starts at pregnancy, starts at birth. What, whatever the mom is eating when she's pregnant or what she's not eating affects the health of the baby. And then if the baby is fed, you know, the correct vitamins, minerals, they're given milk, you know, if they're allergic to it, they're not given it. I mean, we have to pay attention to this at such a young age. And some really popular developmental disabilities, such as autism or Down syndrome, they're shown to be linked to certain dietary, you know, so like lack of this or too much of this can help cause this. To do my undergraduate research, I wanted to integrate nutrition and occupational therapy. And I went to a previous professor of mine, who's actually a professor in the dietetics program. Um, and she was currently working on this program, it's called Pediatrack, to make an app for phones or iPads so that parents can go in and plug in what their child is doing. So we'll have a list of survey questions and they'll answer them based on the age of the child. And as the child ages, they'll answer specific questions depending on what they answered previously. So this app will give us like real-time data to tell us what parents are doing, what environment the children are growing up in, and what's affecting them. And hopefully by the end of it, we can collect this. So since it's an app, we can get you know nationwide, big, bigger than we've ever been able to collect before. So our goal is to collect it and then look back and say, okay, the children who developed some sort of disability, what did they have in common, if anything? can we start somewhere? I wanted to, a long time ago, somehow integrate this. I told you that. And the fact that this is allowing me to start while I'm still in college is just more than anything I could ask for. And hopefully, by the time I graduate, this is nearing its end and I can actually see the app produce. Um, that would be phenomenal. And then at that point, I would be a practicing occupational therapist, we hope, and um, I, could, I could use it. I could, I could have you know, my patient's parents or whoever use it. Yeah, I am very passionate about it. I feel like since I have the ability to help and um, my body is able and working as it should, I should help others get to that point, get to where they want to be.